Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and I'm building this Sonics with the Jabiru 3300 engine. So please like, comment, and subscribe on my channel so we can get these views going and keep moving this forward. Uh, it's a blustery, cool, rainy day here in Austin, Texas. And my voice, and what you're hearing in my voice is not me being sick, it's just there's so much cedar right now that I can't even breathe. So I'm gonna go back to work on the airplane and keep moving forward, so here we go. So the last few hours I've been working on the plane have been on this left side panel. I've gone ahead and I've drilled up all the pieces from the 40 size to the 30. Now I'm starting to take it all apart so I can go ahead and deburr it and dimple die. So I can go ahead and make this flush side just like the other side over there. So one of the things I've done recently is change up which drill I've been using. I used to use this giant craftsman right here and it's really powerful and great but it's powerful enough to like break your wrist with the amount of torque and you don't need that much for these tiny aluminum holes. So my wife got this from I think Home Depot or Lowe's. It's a Black & Decker 20 volt cordless but so lightweight and it lasts all day on one charge and I can really get my hand anywhere I need to really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out my uh, countersinking bit onto here and start countersinking this giant laundron. Because we live in Texas, we get crazy amounts of rain all at once and our lawn is completely messed up right now. And so there's just a bunch of mud out there. So when I come out, I have to switch my shoes because I tried coming out here and just switching into socks, but then all these little burrs of aluminum got on my feet and I trapped them into the house. So I have a, a set of shoes from the shop, which are now my shop shoes, and I have a set of shoes to go back and forth between the house and then shoes from the house. It's kind of kind of a weird thing to think about, but when you have this much aluminum shard all over the place, you kind of have to think about that. Okay, a little update. I've been working on these parts for about the last three hours. I've been uh, using this particular tool. This is a countersinking tool, and it's used to make these divots into the metal. And then when I dimple dye the skin, the skin will fit perfectly in there and then you put a flush rivet on top and the entire skin and surface will be flush. So this takes a long time, hours and hours and hours. I went ahead and got my other drill motor because my wife wasn't using it and mine was starting to overheat. And I have both batteries plugged in charging so I can switch them back and forth. I have this pile of parts that are done being deburred and countersunk. And I have this pile left followed by dimple dyeing this large piece of skin right here. Alright, so I finished countersinking all these pieces. And they're ready to go. So now what I'm working on is deburring the skin. This right here is just a normal simple countersink uh, that I'm putting into the, my drill bit. And then I just do a real quick uh, through each of the holes and that gets all the burrs out of them. Here's what's like to dimple dye a skin. You're gonna have your bottom dimple here. You're gonna go through a hole. Top dimple goes on. and then squeeze it with the rivet gun. And then do that about 6,000 more times. So I'm on my way back to the shop, but first I'll show you how the chickens are doing. Hey ladies, did you eat all the snacks I brought you? Filled that bin full of my daughter's leftover food from last night. Already eaten it all. Got them from house shoes to shop shoes. So last night I went back into the house after doing all the different hole drilling and countersinking, which makes a massive mess of all of them shards. And I sat down on the couch 
And I got back up, my wife said, what is that? And there was aluminum shards all over the couch. We had to get the uh, vacuum out, start vacuuming that up. So I'm trying to figure out what the best way of making sure the aluminum doesn't stick to me. I think I need to wear shorts from now on because it was getting caught in my pant legs all the way up to my knee. And so I finally had to take all my clothes off and take a quick shower. I found shards of aluminum in my hair as well too. So I may just have to go directly into the shower when I get back from working on the airplane, but live and learn and kind of find out as you go. And now we're back to working on the skin for the left side of the fuselage. So I'm gonna go back to dimple dyeing these holes. So a lot of people ask me what it's like to build an airplane. And it's, uh, there's a lot of assumptions that it's, oh, you're just gonna bolt the uh, engine to the fuselage and bolt the wings on and go fly. It's like 95% tedious work, just dimple dyeing one hole at a time. And I think this airplane has 20,000 rivets in it. Uh, I think maybe 10,000 are on the outside, and so it is just a lot of tedious work. But at the same time, at the end of it, you have an airplane you can be proud of. So now that I have more time to work on the airplane and more time to do videos, I'm going to start experimenting with some different camera setups and different uh, styles of shooting this particular airplane build. So if you see things you like, please leave them in the comment and please make sure to uh, like and subscribe so I can get more views on this and maybe turn it into a career. All right, so I finished dimple dyeing this piece of skin. So now I'm going to uh, wash it down with uh, lacquer thinner to get any dust and dirt and debris off and any paint that's already on there like this red label. And then I will go ahead and paint it with a self etching primer. And here we are. Here is a completed left side of the fuselage. Has all the dimple dyes and the countersink and the self etching primer and the final uh, rivets in. So now I'm leaving this side unriveted as the plan suggests so I can get the box in, the wing box in. And next step will be to join it to the fuselage. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you at the next one.